hopefully this is working. Uh, we, we shall wait and see. Once I've spoken for half an hour, I'll then go and check the file and make sure that it's actually done anything. Or, or maybe I'll end up repeating myself again. Who knows? Uh, hi guys, Todd here. A long overdue vlog. Very overdue. And, and, and I apologise for that. Uh, I apologise for that. It's I have no excuses. Um, actually, I do have an excuse. Do you want to hear my excuse? It's it's. I, phones will bing, doors will go. Um, th this is as always, a very professional video. So I apologise for things that, life that may go on whilst I'm recording this. Anyway, uh, what's been happening since I last saw you? Usual, usual kind of Scottish shed things, but as far as vaping goes, uh, right, vaping things. I've got toys here, pretty, pretty toys uh, that some you may like, some you may not. Um, the What can I tell you outside vaping? Because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you these up close. I've actually got a fair bit of gear here. Uh, my... For some reason, the Arise, uh, the new tank by Scrape, was uh, supposed to be here today. And I was going to do a quick look during my vlog. <laughs> well, I put my phone in silent. I should really put my phone... I'm putting my phone... I'm sorry. I'm putting it on silent now. I just don't know how to put it on silent. Uh, there's, there's a story behind this. Short and sweet version is that... I went for a cup of coffee uh, with uh, a mate um, and I obviously we weren't indoors and because of social distancing um, I we're standing in a car park. I had my coffee on top of the roof of the car. I had my phone and and, and a muffin. Um, so we said our goodbyes and um, I put the f I put the coffee in the car. I put the muffin in the car and I drove off. Where the phone is, I will never know. Um, so I had to go and buy a new phone. Um, so I, I'm slowly trying to get to grips with that. Um, it's it's a brick. It is. It's literally a brick. Uh, Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G thing. It makes phone calls and it takes slightly better photos. Slightly. You'll never notice the difference. Um, so that's quiet. What was I talking about? Not a clue. Yes, phone, off the roof, vaping stuff. Uh, har. The Har is now, uh, should be just, as this goes live, it should hopefully be with um, the guys in Croatia where they can, they'll be checking the stock out and then it'll be going off to various stores and uh, and and yeah there'll be new hars the the updated deck the dlc version um yeah they're they're all they're all going to be out there hopefully next week so um if you're grabbing one good luck i hope you like the dlc one it's very pretty i like it a lot and um and yes it's crazy that's 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 another is that another thousand that's another thousand going out the door it's um Thank you to, to everybody that's bought one so far. It, it does warm the cockles of my heart. Um, that's the har. Uh, as far as what else before we get to the toys? What else is to patron? Uh, okay. I swore I would never do it. I swore I would never do it. And I did. Um... Guy changes his mind. What can I say? A guy can change his mind. I mean, um, I never liked Bob Dylan. I spent decades telling my father that Bob Dylan sucked ass. Now I like Bob Dylan. So there you go. You can change your mind. Uh, and I did. I changed my mind. Um, short and sweet version is if you are somebody that only watches videos on my YouTube channel, you'll not notice anything. You have not lost anything. You have not gained anything. Nothing has changed for you. Reviews will still be posted as and when, and uh, it's all the same. The, 
only thing that has changed is that I used to do, when something brand new came in, pardon me, um, I used to unbox it there and then and do a live in my Facebook group. And it was for shits and giggles. Um, it was just for a laugh. I would make a point. No manual would ever be read. And it was just a, a voyage of discovery. And it was usually a train wreck. It was me cocking stuff up and having a laugh. And and, and that was it. It was just good banter. Um, I decided to take that free thing. <laughs> that free thing. I'm sorry. Uh, and I've now moved it on to my YouTube channel as a patron. There is only one tier and it is £1.99 a month. Don't join it. You just don't have to join it. You're not going to see anything that is going to be useful. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It is if you just enjoy a bit of banter um, and like seeing something unboxed, then yeah, you can join. Uh, there are three tiers. Um, YouTube forces you to have three tiers, but tier two and tier three actually state do not choose. Um, it's just the 199 tier. Uh, and to be honest, um, doing giveaways, um, postage, the money that I've, I will not be making anything uh, because it will be used to buy a product a month. Uh, it's as simple as that. Um, but it's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, the, the reason for the unboxing, the live unboxings, has always been, um, it's been just been a joke uh, because I personally uh, don't put any stock in unboxings. Uh, I would never, ever, ever base a, a purchase on somebody unboxing something for the first time because they don't know anything about it. And it doesn't matter how experienced you are. Uh, and I've done this many times over the years. I've unboxed something, gone to use it and hated it. Said it was shit and, and, and never wanted to use it again. But because you're in a position where you have to test something, you, you use it for a couple of weeks, you find out the pros and the cons and, and so on and so forth. And then you can give a, you know, a real working opinion on something rather than just out the box. So that's why that's on the Patreon thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm not making excuses. Uh, please do not join it. Do not pay one ninety nine a month. Go and do something more with your money than giving it to me. That's the hard sell. Uh, toys. Let's show you some toys. Uh, there, there's ah, uh, there's been some lovely toys. Um, I will say the the duet, the duet RDA that will be coming soon by Haku Engineering. Uh, I I did have a uh, what we ho the plane the plane uh, what we hoped was the final version the production version uh, and I was I I was going to do a video and all the rest of it and show it off uh, it turns out that there was a slight hiccup and uh, something wasn't quite right with it so it's it's gone back again for a bit more uh, a little tweak again and then and hopefully the next one will be the production version um and and i'll show you that off as soon as it arrives this this i, I will point out that it's nothing to do with me uh, i did not design it i did not have anything to do with it other than giving feedback on what they sent and they send this this happens with a lot of companies if you don't know they they send um, pre-production alpha beta versions out to certain people uh, for testing and feedback um, it goes on all the time it goes on all the time um, a lot of you will know from the old days it used to be you just used to send um, if you had a new tank mod whatever you would send it out to five of your mates and get feedback from them which is possibly the worst thing you can do uh, because you're never going to get honest feedback from your mate uh, because there'll always be that degree of bias if you like so they send it out to miserable 
bastards like me who are just going to be brutally honest and say this is shit, this is not shit. So, uh, so that happens with everything. Uh, where am I going? I'm really rambling. I'm really not well. Oh Jesus, what? Um, show you some toys. Uh, I am um, have been very <laughs> my MVP, MPV, MVP, Anakin, MVP five. Uh, which is uh, a, a solid go-to mod for me, um, but I'm I'm still using the Witofo Nex M Pro Tank. I'm not using the coils, the pre-built coils. I'm just not. I've no interest in. in uh, I'm really not that much of a fan of sub tanks with big, humongous coils and. You have to vape at 60 watts to get anything out of them. It just doesn't appeal to me. Um, and they never asked me to review it. They just sent on the bundle. Um, so I did the Profile RDTA, which I really liked. I uh, really liked. Um, yes, I stick by that review that I did for it. But uh, you can also get an, a rebuildable deck for this tank. And I've been chugging away with this for the past two and a half three weeks almost and thoroughly enjoying it uh, I'm at 35 watts on a zero point um, I can't see because uh, because eyesight really bad 0 0.3 ohm coil sorry if I squint and it's very good the only thing is is that uh, obviously you have to buy the the, uh, the rebuildable deck section separately it's a bit of a con. Um, and it's a GTA style deck and you cannot put a lot of cotton in it. It it chokes quite quickly. Um, you barely put the cotton down into the deck. Barely. Uh, or it just dries out really quickly. But it's, so, so I've been enjoying using that. Um, speaking of Wotofo, did I want to say this? Yeah, I will say this. Uh, I did a live unboxing for my patrons. <laughs> How? <laughs> sell, sell, sell. No. And uh, I did the cog. I know this is old news for a lot of people. Um, quick summary on the cog RTA. I can see how the mechanism works. I've taken it to bits and looked inside and the changeable air hole underneath the coil is very clever. That mechanism, I like a lot. 10 out of 10 for the approach they gave it. The only problem is the airflow doesn't work. For me and the two I have tried here, the airflow doesn't work. You have what, what four or five different air hole sizes, and uh, you have the the loosest mouth along, and and it that's about it. That really is it. Changing the air holes underneath the coil does nothing. It just does nothing. There's like um, the air's just getting past the mechanism. I think that they've got inside. It's not an airtight mechanism. It's getting past it and 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 it just doesn't work. I get a nice loose mouth to lung from it, but just that's it. I can't dial it down and make it tighter. Um and it's a shame. Um I could say that it's you know, obviously as I said, I've got two here that I've been playing with. Pardon me, and um and both of them didn't work that well. Um just got to be honest, um, it won't affect sales, it's been out for donkeys now, uh, or in vaping terms, it's been out for donkeys, and um, everybody's either bought it or they're on to the next greatest and latest thing, uh, but for me it really didn't, it's such a shame because the mechanism was there, and if it had worked as advertised it would have been superb, I really do think it would have been a great RTA. Anyway, that's that. Uh, other things I'm still vaping with that I have already reviewed uh, the 
Typhoon GX. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Love it to bits. Uh, I stand by the review and everything I say in it. I did get something wrong in that review. I put I dis, uh, added a bit in the description. I was quoting uh, twelve pound for a pair of inserts. It's not. It's twelve pound for one insert. Um, so you can mix and match. Uh, and no, sorry, I thought that was a delivery. Um, so yeah, if you want to fully deck it out and get all the options and whatnot. It's going to cost you a fair few pennies. It really is. Uh, but I'm using this. This is a, another thing I'm testing for Haku. This is the a new mod that shall be coming soon. Uh, hopefully. Um, it's 18650, 18350. Mech or MOSFET. And, uh, and the Typhoon is sitting on top of that just now. Um... Clouds, actually that's not very cloudy, it's just a heavier VG, um, but very good, this, this, where are we, October, uh, we're in October, um, obviously at the end of the year, beginning of next year, I do my, what did I keep from the year, um, I will say that so far, uh, tank wise, up until this point, obviously the har is the best you can buy, no, I wouldn't, I'm not that big a narcissist, you know. Um, I, this is the tank I'm enjoying the most. I'm enjoying the most for the way I vape just now. That might not make any sense, but anyway. Right, take my batteries out of here because I'm trying to... I've got batteries lying everywhere here. Uh, right, what's next? Let's, let's just show you stuff. Uh, let's just show you stuff. There we go. Right, I need my glasses or else we'll never see anything. So this came in. Um, the, oh, the, the Saud, Saud Abbey, so that's the, the Bob. Uh, excuse me, I've got a cable uh, hanging here. Wait, seasickness may ensue. There we go. Um, the Bob by No Name Mods. It's, is it Sudabi? Sudabi? Ah, bollocks. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a, a beauty ring, the halo ring up the top. Uh, this is, I think this is 60 euros separate. You will know that Aspire and No Name have got together and uh, there is a mod coming very, very soon from them. Uh, the, their collaboration, well, the, coll the, the styling is based on this. So this is the the no name mod but the collaboration with aspire is coming which will is is based on the styling of this device here uh, so this is a, a dna 60 and the the usp for this one is that it's, it's stainless steel 316 all of it uh, but it's done around uh, a 3d print internal body to, to hold the board and everything uh, so it's you've got your up and down buttons here and here which are an utter pain in the ass uh, to get to if you have sausage fingers like myself uh, but the firing switch is a, a joy it really is a joy this I'm not sure if you'll see here just now but that's as far as you push it and it's a really really nice firing switch also i have um the normally they come with stainless steel sleeves here i have the wood uh, version i've got two wooden bodies for this uh and a review shall be coming for this very very soon um it does look good with the the halo the you know the beauty ring thing on the top there it's very swish through um, it's not cheap. It's, it's definitely not cheap. This one, I think, it's about. Ah, <gasps> oh, damn. All in, I think it's about six hundred euros for that. Uh, not a cheap one. Not a cheap one at all. Uh, but it's, it's a couple of things that grind my gears over it. 
and there's a few things that I really love about it. It's a, uh, yeah. We'll wait and see when we get to the review. Um, right, I need another vape. Um, this wee thing has been in. Uh, this is a little 18350. So uh, the adapt, the bedapt, bedapt. I'm just going to call everything Bob today because I'm having one of those days. Um, but um, I'm vaping at uh, a stunning 14 watts on this and have been for a little while. So pull the pod out like that. Adjust the airflow. Uh, I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll put the airflow down to the tightest. There we go. Pop this back in here, the right way around. And it's got like a little whistle tip on it. That's a nice mouth to lung. That's like a, a one mil type of mouth to lung. And it comes with an RBA. That's an RBA section that I've got in there just now. And it also takes the, oh, what's the name of the smock coils? Is it smock coils it takes? But uh, here we go. really nice the, 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 it's it's not this once again it's 18350 pod uh the bedapt and um i'll i'll be doing a review for this it's also got temp control as well um it's not bad it's, it's actually, actually not shabby at all um there's once again there's a couple of things i like and there's a few things that i don't um i am still going with the Anakin M18. So you can't actually buy this yet. This is a, a, a like a pre-production one. This is their new pod system. I did an unboxing because um, they asked me to. So you can spin it round and you can tighten. You have two air flows basically. Looser and tighter. Uh, the only thing I found was with this pre-production one is that the, the mouth to lung was not tight enough. Uh, it was that modern mouth to lung that everybody talks about you know it's it's pardon me it's not like an old school mouth to lung it's not that mouth to lung that a smoker wants that that's my take on it so they've changed it and i'm just waiting on the new one to arrive uh, and then i'll do a review an update i'll do a proper review for it but uh, the coils are actually very very good There we go. So, pods and stuff. Uh, other news. Um, the wonderful Gus, even though he's French. Uh, uh, the Gus at um, the Gus Gus at the uh, uh, makes the Leon AB mods. Uh, the Leon RDA. This thing that I did a review for. Which is a very very nice RDA. Uh, well, Gus is uh, sending me on uh, a Leon for a charity raffle. So, Gus, thank you so so much. Um, so, this month's charity raffle will be for a Leon RDA, and I have to. I'm going to find a really nice squonker out of my collection. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a regulated or a mech. Uh, it might be both. We'll try and make this a good one. I'm thinking of making this charity raffle the last one this year. Um, just given the way that everything's going in the world and that people have other commitments and so on. Um, so, uh, but uh, just uh, once again, just a thank you to Gus and uh, and thank you to. Do you know there's been so many modders this year. Um, that have helped out with the charity raffle stuff and it's really appreciated um, you've helped raise a shit ton of money um, other things that have come in now where are we this is good this is this is um, from Yanis um, the Pyra Plus do you remember the Pyra from back in the day Used to be a big 26650. 
go to bed. 26, 650. Uh, and it still had this big plate on the front here. Um, but you could get it in like gold and silver and, and there was a really expensive versions and all the rest. Well, he's back with the same design. No. Reimagined. Uh, it's It's got, let's just show you this up close. Here we go. Now, I, I do want to point out that this is optional. You do not have to have this on here. Uh, this is, uh, so that's a serial number, if you like. This is, a, it's almost like a pre-production version. These will not be for sale until the end of the month. Uh, so you can have it without this. Um, this is not engraved. This is actually on the wood. Uh, but you've got like your stainless steel, the cutouts there. You've got Yanis, uh, is it Yanis Therox, um, Thoreau, Yanis Thoreau. Yanis, if you see this, I'm really sorry for butchering your name. Uh, but uh, here we go in the bottom. It's a DNA 60. Um, and, oops, sorry. And uh, yes, I'm vaping at 13.3 watts on a 1.2. Should be a 1.3 ohm. Should be, but uh, there we go. So you've got like uh, a flush stainless steel button there. This I love. I like this here. Uh, if I was to be buying one for my, because I got this free to review. If I was to be buying one for myself, I would probably still have that, but I would, I wouldn't have this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this on the side of the mod. Um, but the wood's lovely, it's finished really, really well, and uh, yes, so there you go, um, the Pyra Plus 18650, this will be coming very, very soon uh, for sale. On top of this, is something I'd never heard of, I, I knew nothing about, this is the, is the, the shoe, the SHU, the shoe, it's, it comes out of Italy, um, and it is, I, oh, it's early days, it's early days in the testing, um, and you can see the air hole that I've actually got in there just now, I think it's about 0.8, um, now it, it's, you could make the comparison with this saying, oh that looks like a flashy vapour because it's got that same kind of, you know, grub screw in the side, you can change the inserts. It's not, it's not like a flashy vapor. It really isn't. There are, it's very different actually, very different. Uh, this is, there's, it's strange. There's a lot of manual f work that goes into the creation of this RTA. Uh, it's not just something that's done on a CNC and thrown in a box and sold. This is uh, this is a hands-on job. It's quite an intro. This is actually. I mean, what is this? This is. Um, I've got juice in here just now, um, and you probably won't see that. But here's my deck. I just got a tiny little two point five ID coil in there uh, that I wrapped. I wrapped myself. Uh, I just pop line up my airflow and pop that back on um top fill and obviously once again i've got a here we go that's that's a that's a mouth to lung that's a proper mouth to lung i think the deck the de i mean it's a 22 mil rda okay but the actual deck inside the size of it i think is only 13 millimeters in diameter or thereabouts it's 12 or 13 it's tiny the chamber's tiny it's just <laughs> God, things i want to say but i've got to be careful how i say them because i don't as always, try and be diplomatic. Ah, uh, there was a... Uh, mouth to lung vaping has become, for me, we joked about this in uh, in the Facebook group, mouth to lung vaping has become like uh, the new temperature control. 
You have people that use temperature control and you have people that don't. The general consensus about people that use temperature control is that they're, they're you know, they get very geeky about their, their temperature control. Uh, you mean the TCR values and the wires and, and how you should be doing this and how you should be doing that. And, you know, you have the majority of people that just want to push a button and vape and then you have those that are into it. You're the hobbyists. And there's different factions, you know, there's different factions for, for hobbyists within vaping itself. So you've got, the, you know, the, the, the drippers, the squonkers, the mouth to lungers, the temperature control guys that, that, you know, they all concentrate in that little area of vaping. I feel recently that the, the mouth to lunging has gone the same way as temperature control went. Um, mouth to lung vape in the past just used to be, it was just a tight draw and uh, you just vaped it you, uh, and that was it you got slightly more throat hit and um it was just vaping but now you have people that are mouth to lungers you know it has to be a certain way you have to do it a certain if you're not doing it the way that they do it then then you're doing it wrong um i'm not taking the the michael I'm not extracting the urine out of these people. I'm taking the piss. Um, it's just vaping at the end of the day. But if this is what appeals to you, if this is what you concentrate on, is this, if this is your thing, I'm happy for you. We've all got to have our own little, you know. Um, where I'm going with this is that um, a lot of mouth-to-lung tanks that I have tried you know they all have inserts and they're all like they, they want to be all things to all men um this this takes me back to what i always in my head remember mouth to lung vaping being like before it was called mouth to lung vaping it was just vaping this is what this feels like it's just a really really it's just a tight draw get a nice throat hit from it the flavor is superb and it's built like a brick shit house uh and and that's brilliant so the shoe s-h-u-r-t-a so far is maybe not going to be for everybody that's looking for the most bang up to date latest thing but it's got some nice I'm quite a fan i'm talking too much i really am not well It's brilliant. It's really, really good. Um, there will be there will be yeah, there will be a review coming for this. Um, speaking about mouth to lung tanks, this will be the next review that I'm going to do. I think this is a mouth to lung tank, the harpoon. Um, the, it's the Bob. I can't remember the name of it, the proper name of it, but it's by Gus Mods. Um, who have been around since the dawn of time. Um, it is... Oh, camcorder. There we go. It is also a little mouth-to-lung tank from the olden days. Um, it's got a... a, a, a I've, I've just cleaned it out, actually. It's got a tiny, tiny... Once again, it's got an amazingly tiny chamber. Um... I have a slightly different opinion on this one. Whilst I can get a good vape from it, um, that I will cover in the review. I don't want to get into it just now, but um, I can get a superb vape from it. There's some cons to it. That's my only thing. There's some cons to it. Uh, the deck is very, very old school. Very old school. Uh, but uh, yes, the, the, from Gus Mod. Um, I will say, however, it is really, really nice to actually have something from Gus again uh, because their mods back in, uh, well, their mods back in the day were superb. Um, right, that's that. Um, another thing I'm vaping away with. There we go. That 
I'll show you. Hang on. Camera. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. That is the truss. Uh, this is uh, a bridge uh, that is done by Signature Tips, Mr. Just Right One, and Dovepo, I do believe. Um, so if you think like, uh, you know, you, you, the bridges that you pop into your borrow tank. Uh, so this is the truss, and um, I've had two builds in it. I've only had two builds in it. It's not released yet, but it's coming very soon. I think it's going to be about £55. And what you're seeing in the front there, uh, these are wicking holes, and they have the same on the back. Uh, you can adjust the airflow, um, but you only, can only adjust the airflow from the 510 or the positive contact. It's not like there's no inserts or anything like that for it. And my opinion right now is that it doesn't, this draw, I mean, I'm getting a, a, a good, good restricted direct lung, almost version on the direct lung from it. I can tighten it down, but because the, the air holes are coming basically from the side, um, and because I can't close these air holes off basically, I think it's going to work at its best as a restricted direct lung. That's my take on it just now. Um, that's my take on it just now. But it's... It's not bad. It's not bad. It may not be for the people that want to... So I was going to say... I'll say it. It may not be for the people that want to fanny about with inserts and things like that. But if you just want to throw a coil in something, get a good draw from it, then it's, it's doing really well. And I must say, there is something that I like. I, I, I know these days that it's, you know, like, um, it's nice to just buy something and you don't have to bugger about with it. You know, if you buy a, a car, I just wanted to have an engine, put a key in and get it from A to B. Uh, whereas a, a, a lot of tanks these days, you buy it and they have inserts and add-ons and you can customize this and do that but much the same as you can do with cars actually but i just want to buy something and vape it you know it's it's nice it's, it's just simple and it works uh, last thing how long have i oh god i've been going for 40 minutes talking too much remember i said this uh, this uh typhoon or typhoon wherever you are uh is at this point in time, one of my favourite RTAs this year. I got a mod in, and I've only had it for 24 hours, and I've literally... Don't, I don't know what to say. I've literally thought, you can't fall in love with a mod, but it really, really floats my boat, this, and I'm very, very surprised that it does. Um... This thing, so this is Mask 60. This is from Sub Monkey. Uh, that's a har sitting in there. Um, and this is, it's aluminium. It's, it's the body's aluminium. Um, it's a Dicodes Extreme V3. Uh, it's got a touch sensor for a firing button. And I absolutely, I, I just adore this thing. Uh, I really do. I, I, I can't explain to you why. Because um, we all have our own tastes. That's the thing at the end of the day. And, and that's why I harp on about you should watch other reviewers. Because, um, you know... I'm wearing, I'm wearing, look at, look at what I'm wearing and where I'm sitting and the things I've got round about me. My tastes are going to be very different to yours, if you're lucky. <laughs> but 
with certain vaping things, I just, just snap, just click. And this for me has just clicked. I don't know why, but I just adore this mod. The weight, it's got a good weight to it with a tank in it and everything. The, the touch sensor works, no problems. And I don't know what to do with my finger yet. Um, that's, this is the only thing I have. You know, when I put my thumb here, I tend to grip the tank as well. But sometimes I find myself closing my airflow off. It's a, it's a common thing with side by side. You have to find something to do with that finger if the firing button isn't in the front. So on there, and it works really well. Um, I think this is 299 euros for this. I will be reviewing it. I will be. Um, uh, but if, if, if you can grab one and the look of it appeals to you, then yeah, I would hunt this. That I, if I lost this, and I never ever say this about mods and so on, or give away this information, but if, if this was nabbed, or if I left this on the roof of my car, I would go and buy one as soon as I could. I, I'm that much of a fan of this. And, and I know that's a gush before a review, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and that is it. That's all I've got for you on stuff. Stuff. Um, yes. Oh, um, Steam Island. Um, build mats. Very, very nice. Thank you, Rob. Um, what else was I going to mention? I was going to, <laughs> I was going to mention... Oh, I did... Um, we had a, a video, and, and I'm not, th this whole patron thing, just ignore it, but I did a video that, for my patrons, where um, a boy called Blake, uh, I'd mentioned this, had sent on a, a juggernaut to me as, as a gift, um, and he said, it'd be, good, it'd be great if you could do a video, <laughs> if you could do a video, building it, building it for me, and showing me where I went wrong, I went, no problem. I'm an expert. I'm a professional. I used to build, do mesh builds and stuff like this in minutes, under five minutes. No problem at all. Um, however, these things can go horribly wrong very quickly. So I, I did a video and after an hour, uh, I still didn't crack it. I kept getting hot spots. It just went, it went completely peat tong. It really did. Uh, I did end up getting a build in it, and I did end up getting it uh, working well. So that's the build that I ended up with. Uh, but to get to that, that was hard work. It really was. For those of you from uh, that remember doing these things back in the day, you, you'll know that sometimes you get a build for you. You can be chasing the hotspot for a night. You could. It was that easy to, just to go wrong. Um, the other thing is, is, and that's another thing about having the niche sections, if you like, in vaping. Um, I mean, you look at what some of the guys are doing, like, um, is it Carlson? Carlton? Carlson? And uh, he sells rope and mesh and stuff like that. He's got a Facebook group. I mean, I went in their Facebook group and was reading up and where, where mesh and their wire that they use for building is now. And what I was doing back in 2012, 13, 14, 15, um, is nothing like what these guys do now. It's completely changed. What I'm trying to build here is archaic if you like it's it's moved on um yeah the whole genesis thing that's a rabbit hole that one um actually i'll show you this he's a very nice man i know um he comes comes from the land down under and uh, 
he's into watches. I love my watches, and 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 he sent me a picture. Check this out. How cool is that? It's just a watch. It's just a watch display. So just for sticking your watches in, uh, and and you know what? yeah, geek kid, and just a kid, uh, but he'll be maybe listen to this if he does. He knows that I love him a bit dearly, and um, I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't be happier. I know some really nice people in this game, and I'm very, very lucky. Very lucky. Uh, and, yes, extremely lucky. Uh, and and that's all I've got for you. Uh, I think we'll call it a day at that. That's about 45 minutes. I know there's a dog. Is, was that camera wasn't working? No, it's not working. Sorry. Uh, TJ Cam is not working today. Um... I know you. He wants a biscuit as well. Do you want? Him? Hang on. I'll find it. Oh. Where's that? He'll be back again. He'll be back again. Um, right, we're, we're going to shoot off here. Um, once again, I, I apologise for not doing a vlog for so long. And um, and the, the, there will probably be, as you can see, I've got a lot of gear in for review here. The reviews will probably be coming thick and fast over the next couple of weeks. Uh, there will be a mix of... Um, yeah, there's stuff there to, to accommodate all budgets. All budgets. Um, and that's it. Right, hit the stop button. Go away and uh, we'll catch up with you very soon. Take care and bye for now.